Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech the Swan Song campaign. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our ultra difficult campaign where we have put everything on the highest difficulty. Uh, we're doing the victory laps and are going through a few interesting missions that I just wanted to display before sort of wrapping that up in a five school flashpoint. Today's mission is going to be false security, a mission that requires some tonnage restrictions and at the same time is four school in nature. So that's going to be highly, highly interesting. Uh, we're going to take all of our five, 55 and five, uh, 50 ton mechs. The only lower mech that we do have available is the fire starter. So that appears to be a bit under armored and under gunned, but that's really what we have. Everything else comes down to skill, both of the pilots and the piloting commander. But yeah, we're going to go into an assassination mission in the lowlands with those moderate mechs. Let's see how well it goes. Let's drop down and see if it is really a four score mission. The professional do you really just drop into my backyard with this lance? I am offended. Well, time to continue to here? offend this guy. I'm there. Moving out. In we are here to destroy the enemy forces, plus I got you. humble this guy a bit got more. You. Location confirmed. You got it. Going into the forest whenever possible, and what are we dealing with? That's an Orion? Are you kidding me? Moving out. Move order received. Well, we got the higher initiative at least on our side. Three medium and two medium and one heavy mech. All right, three medium and a heavy mech. Sometimes you gotta fight stronger opponents. It is what it is. We got really nice defense here, so not particularly afraid. Fire starter tanks. Okay, fair enough. Flying took some hits. What are your orders, Skipper? But that is not the end of the world. All right, jumping over. Got to be a bit careful here. No need to overdo it. Time to hit that Orion a bit. Other than that, we're just going to stay here and avoid most of the damage. Right here. Centurion moves up. And now it's a matter of just dishing out enough damage. What can I do for you? Griffin. On Moving up, and there is a Kianto. Okay, cool. Sticking with the Orion for now. Already have started focusing it. Might as well continue. Orders. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, is what the uh, they say. Good. Already opened uh, part of uh, the torso. Let's stick the fire starter in reserve for now. Griffin should take some damage. Yeah, that was foreseeable. Not surprised. Waiting for orders. Good. Moving over here. To tell me twice. Another. Oh, another Orion. Okay. Vigilance, so that we have the sixty percent damage reduction. And there we go. This guy already lost half of his tour, so... Came from. 
What are we dealing with? Edge of men. Okay. Got something you want done? Affirmative. Keeping the heat on this Orion. And there we go. One more for the kill board. Larger they are, the harder they fall. Kitaro is a missile boat, so on that I would like to start to with rock. getting that guy down ASAP. With initiative four, we can move up. Go for the hatchet men, but I decided we want to go for the Kitaro. Shots, shots. And the good old machine gun. Taro is yeah, taking some ahead. damage. Fantastic. This is the right position for us. Fully unloading onto the Kitaro as a thank you. Very good. It's go time! Confirmed. All right, fire starter moves back. Oh, that's okay. Let's just shoot that hatchet man a few times. Was the only one that we could really hit. Riffin moves up. Riffin takes vigilance. Kitaro needs to take the full wrath. It is already damaged. Not yet brought down like to that level where we've opened any of its parts. Lily is tanking for the team. Enemy Orion moves up. Mox. Starts moving down here. Let's continue with hitting the Orion. Uh, the Kitaro, sorry. Now has an open left uh, torso. But be careful with the hatchet, man. Kitaro would be perfect if we could get the torso. That's what I'm talking about. Solid connection on that one. All right, our Griffin continues to tank. But soon we gotta find a new uh, tank for the front line. Kitaro. Waiting on you, Commander. Lily. Moves back. 40%. Shall we continue with vigilance? Potentially a good idea. Hmm. This guy still is strong enough as two SRMs. All right, let's try our best. Yeah, it didn't really work out that well. Confirmed. 
I want to wait with Firestarter. Skipper. Receiving you. Okay, we could move all the way down here. Sixty five per cent, sixty five per cent. Yeah, that's Centurion here. Potentially can tank a bit for us. Moving, Moving up. Position. Vigilance because we're going to take the heat now. And let's continue with hitting the Kitaro. Okay, we're definitely going to focus on the hatchet men now, so it's time for a target change. Ready to rock. Uh, yo. Nope. Can't fully reach him. Receiving you. Redford. Yeah, I think that this here would be the right play. Move order received. Hatchet man. Engaging. Also, standing on... Um, is standing on very rough terrain. My internals are taking a beating. Okay. Orders. Yet again, I replan. Okay. As the Kitaro moved in all Go. and really went all in. Critical hit. We now need to kill this guy. Oh, a Marauder? Holy shit. Okay. That is bad news. That is really bad news. Yep. Medium lasers. Oh, wow. That's only two blips. I need a spot where we can hit the, uh, the Kitaro. And where I'm in range of short, uh, short range weapons and where I'm getting the jumping bonus. I think the only one uh, spot where that would work is right up here. But we're also making ourselves highly, highly available to all of these guys. Okay, Good to go. first things first, Griffin. Waiting for order. Or the Centurion, either way works. I think we're starting with the Griffin. Situation went from okay to absolutely not okay in a matter of seconds. We're looking at 21 hit points. Hmm. I think it's worth uh, to use a precision strike here okay good that guy is down okay. uh, still far enough away to not receive the hatchet which is what i'm hoping to avoid centurion takes 40 percent damage reduction and that hatchet man hopefully going to be destabilized not as much as i was hoping uh, to be entirely honest
All right, four blips. Ten four. Moving back. And let's just sensor lock. Can't really sensor lock anyone. Let's just brace for now. Okay, the Griffin is still tanking and is doing a fantastic job with that. The Orion What's up, boss? continues to be annoying, but we're fine. So far, so good. Roger that. Edged Man is unstable. Tries to hit the fire starter, misses. And we're okay with tanking the Marauder with that Griffin. Minimal damage. Oh hell yeah. It's on now. Uh fire starter stays in reserve. Alright, we're taking quite a bit of damage now. But that's still overall fine. Good to go. Nah, I think this is the right call. Griffin moves over. And let's down that hatchet, man. AC-10 is down, pilot injured. That's a critical hit. Still having his hatchet. Light damage, holding firm. Hey, oh. Commander. All right, no Griffin on moves over, way. Vigilance for 60% damage reduction, and let's continue to just kill the hatchet man here. That hit something good. All right, waiting for the Marauder. I got you. Marauder made the mistake of moving in. Fire starter. Our primary target is taking damage. All right, the professional Ready takes some war. damage. That's good. Like it. No problem. Got it. Hitting it and hitting it very well. Tigan over here. Three, four blips. Right arm is missing. Yep. So we're showing the left arm. Copy that. Still got 40% damage reduction. And let's continue hitting that you. Marauder. It's not phenomenal damage, but it is okay. Good. Run. This Griffin here is standing in the closest position. Hopefully they will continue focusing on it. All right, structure exposed. Oh my gosh. The right torso is having okay, problems. That was really bad. Yeah. All right, Location offering the Centurion as an alternative. Report critical hit. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, you can continue shooting the other griffin. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Good, moving up. Continuing to hit the marauder. Critical hit. Marauder is highly unstable, so it unstable should sh should not really be good at moving or shooting. Uh, I took a hit in the meat. Okay, cool. Got a weapon out. Our target is making a break for it. Yep. Two, three, two, two. Uh. Orders. Well, starter is still fine. So this here is the right torso, which means we gotta show the left side. On the move. Good, half of the Marauder is missing. If we can hit it once more and maybe destroy the leg, it will not be able to move away. Affirmative. Okay, Firestarter continues to take damage. We're just going to move him away. Confirmed. Copy that. Bracing and waiting there. Okay, fair enough. What's up, Commander? Coordinates received. All right, so this should potentially destroy the leg here. We're using a precision strike. And there we go. That's what I was looking for. That hit something good. Marauder is down. Commander? Which means we can move up. Coordinates received. Does he still have his hatchet? No, he does not. Okay, cool. For a moment I was afraid of its melee capabilities. Now all we gotta do is on get that marauder down. Okay, fantastic. Difficult time. fight so far. Surprisingly difficult. The leg is almost gone. Back up through my armor, Commander. Yep. Good to go. That's like what? Left leg, okay. Showing the right leg. Moving to position. And we're taking vigilance just in case. Roger that. Ryan takes some damage, but not a lot. Single hit. Yeah, as long as he has one laser, he will hopefully not go into melee because he would deal more damage with melee attacks at this point. Move on out. Centurion move up. Taking the shot. That Orion takes some damage. Is 
Still operating the left torso. Vigilance. Alright, so right arm is missing, which means left arm can still be presented. I got you. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Yep. Waiting for orders. Yeah, I don't want to be too close uh, to the guy because his right, melee man. attacks are still hurting a lot. Vigilance on the griffin here. And let's just hit it. Orders confirmed. Uh, we're going to reserve 60% damage reduction on the Griffin with breadboard is too good to leave it open. Okay, that was bad. Commander. Sen Churion. Unfortunately, can't hit his weak side at the moment, but we can still continue to pepper him with LRMs. The Hatchet Man is kind of a running joke at this point. Firestarter moves up. Takes its shots. Destroys even the arm, which is good. Critical hit. Standing by. Locking in This guy shows his rear even. Locked on, rear arm. Okay, we should be able to get him down. Let the hatchet men work first. Yeah, no problem. Something I can do. Fantastic. Good. Let's start with hitting this guy and killing him potentially. All right, pilot incapacitated it means Commander? we're good to go. On my way. Griffin moves up. Right, Commander. Takes the shots and that hatchet man is finally going Critical down. Hit, Commander. Wouldn't have guessed that he would have been the last mech. If you would have asked me just from a priority order, it just ha so happened Confirmed. that he ended up being uh, the last mech alive because we disabled it. But if you would have asked me beforehand, certainly wouldn't have guessed that he would be the last one standing. Hostile removed. Mission successful. Okay, okay. Three heavy mechs, including a Marauder, which is arguably the strongest of the heavy mechs. I think four or five medium mechs and one or two light mechs. It certainly was a four-school four mission. I still can't understand why we were only allowed to drop those low amounts of tonnage. Got a Marauder part, which is fantastic. Orion. Orion. Yet another Orion. Thank you. Yet another Orion. So it's going to be 
A good salvage. A fantastic salvage. Gitaro. Let's get the hatchet man. You know, all things considered, that was a pretty good mission. And we got like two or three mechs out of it because we were just finishing uh, the parts. The only mech that we did not get out of it was the uh, Marauder. Which definitely would be a nice add-on for our uh, yeah, heavy mech team. At the same time, we incurred some costs because the fire starter that mech is ready to fight, Commander. will cost some money. Okay, let's see what we got. Got ourselves a Kitaro here. I like the generally like the mech if you are running missile uh, boats, so it can be an upgrade towards the Centurion. Let's just double check really quick in terms of how much load the guy would would be able to take. So from an LRM perspective. We got quite a few like LRM fives. Lots of stability damage. So this here would be twenty five LRMs. Moderate, moderate damage, but then again, there's a lot of stability damage that we could get with it. Yeah, potentially still not worth it. Not enough, not enough room. Let's see our current LRM boat. I feel the Centurion has quite a bit of damage potential. Look at that. Looking at 260. That's 100 more. Okay, in all fairness, it has damage LRMs, but still. Shouldn't be that much of a difference. Kitaro is good, but it requires better SRMs and LRMs. The Orion, we already got one here. No need for another one off into the mech, back, uh, mech bay you go time to repair the others including that black knight and potentially the biggest repair of all is going to be the fire starter full replacement and we are looking at machine gun here Machine gun there, machine gun everywhere. Medium laser. Yeah, and we got two extra jump jets. I mean, the jump jets were highly effective in order to get in and out. So we're going, of course, going to continue to use uh, them. This bad boy here scales a lot with uh, upgraded damage. As soon as you do have better machine guns, there are machine guns that have literally zero tonnage load. Uh, machine gun plus plus for zero tonnage. So you can put all of them in and uh, fully uh, put uh, medium lasers into it plus heat sinks. The fire starter can be a monster and i'll show that in one of uh, the runs afterwards for now let's finish the atlas and then we can do a few more missions three days to do that
Got a new financial report for you, Commander. In the meantime, we need to pay, pay for all of the upkeep. There we go. Good. Before we end today's session, let's see if oh, yeah. anyone goes, uh, gets an upgrade. Of Waiting course, as always, the answer is no. Although, to be fair, Ellie gets a bit of piloting upgrade. Training complete. Standing by. Commander, order. I wait. Waiting for order. Okay, good. Fantastic. Next episode, we're going to look into a few more of the harder missions. I'll potentially do two missions per episode so that we have one or two more um, episodes where we're just going to go at it with the heavier mechs. And then we're going to fly into the final mission. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, if you enjoy Battletech content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.